Story Bugs. Hello and welcome to Storytime. I'm really glad you're here. I have a new book. It's an e-book, which means it's not paper. It's on our iPad here. And I'm excited to read this because a new author sent this to me and her name is Jacqueline Christine. She wrote this story and it's illustrated by Paula Valle, published by Black Ant Publishing and it's called Mommy's Day Off. I'm excited to show you this new book. Ready? Early this morning, my mommy left with a kiss and a hug and a packed bag swung over her shoulder. Poppy told me a friend needed mommy's help and that she would be back tomorrow. What do you say, Louie? Waffles and ice cream? Poppy asked. But Mommy would never let me eat that for breakfast. I know, but Poppy's in charge, and I say it's okay. We gulped down each waffle, all smothered with ice cream, then threw ourselves on the couch like two lazy koalas in the nook of a tree. Wanna watch a movie? Poppy asked, rubbing his stuffed belly. Really? Mommy would never let me watch TV without first making my bed. We watched as brave cowboys saved their town from outlaws. When the movies ended, I said, I wanna be a cowboy too. Poppy and I headed straight to the playroom. We didn't see any cowboy toys. One by one, Poppy dumped the toy bins. Cars, balls, action figures billowed onto the floor like dust on a prairie. My eyes almost popped right out of my face. Mommy would never let me do that. I'll be in so much trouble. But Poppy didn't hear me. It was as if he was trying to find a nugget of gold in this mountain of a mess. Here's what you'll do. Throw on a jacket and put on your shoes. We're going to the toy store to turn you into a cowboy, Poppy said. But Mommy would never let me wear my pajamas outside. Poppy just winked and turned to get ready. At the store, I carefully picked out each piece of my costume. A cowboy hat, a vest, and cowboy boots. I looked just like the brave cowboys in the movie. Then with a smile stretching from ear to ear, Poppy handed me a rope. To lasso the bad guys, he whispered. But it's not even my birthday. Mommy would never let me buy all of this at once. I know he said excitedly. As war raged on the prairie, Poppy and I fought off the outlaws. Boom, bam, watch out. Look at the teddy bear outlaws. <laughs> After our victory, we gobbled gooey, cheesy pizza. We were having so much fun, I didn't even notice the sun go down. Time to brush your teeth, Poppy said. But Mommy never makes me do it alone. You're a big boy, now hurry along. With my head hung low, I headed to the bathroom. Mommy never rushes me, and she helps me sing my ABCs while I brush my teeth. When I was done, Poppy kissed me on the head and said, now get to bed. So I grabbed a book, sat in bed, and waited, and waited, and waited some more. Mommy would never let me wait this long.
when he finally came upstairs, Poppy leaned in for a goodnight kiss. What about my story? Mommy always reads me a story at bedtime. All right, little man. Poppy grabbed the book and began to read. As the story left Poppy's mouth, it wasn't the same. Mommy always gives each character their own special voice. Mommy would never read the story this way. When he was done, Poppy kissed me on my forehead and turned off the light. Wait, I called out in the dark. Mommy would never forget to turn on the night light. I closed my eyes and tried to dream, but no matter how hard I pressed them, my eyelids bounced back open like springs. So I called out to Poppy. I can't go to sleep. Try your best. Maybe count sheep. Soon you'll drift off into deep sleep. Mommy would never make me count sheep. She'd lie in bed with me, stroke my hair, tell me stories of dragons, princes, pirates, and bears. I closed my eyes and thought of her hugs, how she smells like warm sugar cookies and milk, and how her arms are like marshmallow cushions cradling me. Before I knew it, I was fast asleep, dreaming of mummy. In the morning, I was awakened by soft, gentle strokes across my face and the smell of warm sugar cookies and milk. I had fun with my Poppy, just the two of us. Mommy may never let me do the things Poppy did, but I would never forget Mommy and all the love that she gives. That's the end of that story. That was a really cute one, huh? Are your mommy and poppy kind of different? Do they do different things with you? <laughs> well, thank you guys for sharing that story with me. I hope you'll come back next time. If you guys enjoyed reading that story, would you please click subscribe down below? We read new stories just like this one every day, and we would love to let you know when there's a new story to listen to.